Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in again today. I know this is cheesy and cringy, but I I love doing this. And I, and I love that you guys have been here since my hiatus, since the Russia trip, since the move. It's just it's really fun to be back. And the only reason why it's it's fun to come back to is because of you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Today, I'm live streaming. I might be drinking to celebrate being back to 100%. So uh, if, if you guys are free today, feel free to stop by. So link in the description below. If you guys have time today to come hang out, that'd be awesome. If not, no worries. I'll be live next Friday at uh, 12 to 1 p.m. EST. Anyways, dev server. The Imperial Japanese Navy... IJN, Imperial Japanese Navy, and the Japanese Maritime... I gotta look it up real quick. Yeah, Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force we're checking out. So not only are we checking out the Imperial Japanese Navy, the one from mid-1800s to 1945, it ended for some just bureaucratic reason, can't really tell you why, but the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, I think only... Features, oh yeah, it might feature two. Let me just, yeah, maybe three, but one I know for sure. And in this video, we're not gonna take a look at these, not saying these are really cool, but we're gonna, uh, you know, I, I don't want this video to be an hour long. We're gonna check out uh, from 3.3 .3 and above to the 5.7 Furutaka. These guys, we're going to leave until the server goes live and we'll play them. And I, and I really want to bring some more naval action to the channel. On the last year, last couple of months, um, there's really been none of it. But I feel like since the Imperial Japanese Navy, as long as... How, how do you shorten this? The JMSDF? We'll just say the... Yeah, whatever. The Defense Force. I think this is going to bring a lot of players back in. A lot of iconic ships are being added. And all the weebs are rejoicing, as they should. Hashtag weeb care. Comments below. Don't know what it's for, but just do it. Actually, don't do it. Erase it, delete it. Anyways, this video, we're going to go over the 3.3 .3 to 5.7, and we're going to play some of them out in a custom battle to see how that goes. Dev server custom battles are kind of no bueno, but hopefully we can kind of get a little bit of a gameplay experience for you guys. First one up. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. Okay, I'm going to say it right here and right now. I do apologize. I'm going to try my best, though. Chikumo 3.3. This is the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force ship. I think this one retired, or the, or the last one built was retired in 2003. As you can see, for 3.3, .3, now all dev server values can change, but maybe sometimes it doesn't. 3.3, <laughs> dual. Semi-fast reloading. The, the fire rate is bow. 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 And I would bring it into a test drive, but we got a lot to go through today. And we'll, we'll probably make an independent video on this one as well once the live server comes out. So twin three inches. In the rear, we have a dual 40 mic mic. And then in the center... Yeah. And then... Ah, uh, I really... Uh, we got a storage container here, torpedoes, and are these the type? Okay, never mind. What, what kind of torpedoes are these? That is really interesting. Mark 46 torpedoes. 91 kilometers an hour, which is extremely fast. The fastest torpedo right now that we've looked at in the game. Distance 7.3 kilometers. Just keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, this storage container, auxiliary caliber gun, it doesn't even work. Yet. Yet, I should say. These are missiles. These are probably, I don't know, radar-guided missiles that... Guys, what is War Thunder Naval Forces going to be in, like, two years? It's going to be, like... Command and Conquer. Hands down. Mutsuki. Now, this is where things start to get a little interesting for the Japanese Navy. See these tri-turrets right here? These triple torpedo launchers? We're going to go ahead and press X-ray on it. And type 
93 torpedoes. What's the type 93 torpedo, guys? Long lance. Why is it long lance? I don't really know why, but I, I'm going to put long where it counts. Travel distance, 20 kilometers. Maximum speed in water, 93 kilometers an hour. How does it maintain 93 kilometers an hour for 20 kilometers away? That's extremely powerful. And then look at the explosive mass, 490 kilograms. If you don't spot these on your own accord, I don't think you're going to be able to get away from them. They're too fast closing. And I believe the one, the only torpedo that might come close is the German, we'll just use the Z20. This one can go 81 kilometers an hour. But only six kilometer range, so it's a close range tort. Well, it still is far away, but I don't know how they. I don't know how they did. I it doesn't. Yeah. And with only a two hundred and eighty kilogram, still that's a ton. But the Type ninety three Long Lance torpedo is absolutely exquisite. And then we have uh, four hundred and twenty millimeter guns that can only shoot HE. That's the Mutasuki. And can I get any... Oh, we're, we're, we're going to save this conversation for when we get to the, the, the Kuma. This one has a nice place in my heart, though. The IJN Fubuki. Gorgeous destroyer. Love the 127 millimeter guns. Has three of them. These are going to be pretty slow reloading, if I remember. Takes a while. It's a big, it's a big old ship. Slow traversing too. Check out that traverse rate. That is not good for, you know, close, oh, close range combat. Now let's check out how fast these torpedoes do go. Okay, the the other ones have a bad arc now. Look at this. Yeah, there, there's no way a light cruiser or a big destroyer is getting out of the way. It literally blew the ship backwards and made him miss two of the other torpedoes. Okay, time for the guns. Yeah, very slow traverse on these 127 millimeters. Probably slow reload too. Yeah, these are, I mean, they're still good, but you know, not as good as some other 127 millimeters in the game. Actually, they're a lot better than I thought. So this one's going to be more of a one-time torpedo wall. Nine torpedoes in, in total with the long lance setup. Extreme range, extreme speed, and extreme explosive mass when it gets to its target. Guns still are an X factor, though. You can do some damage with those 127 millimeters. Next is a destroyer that we've played before, the Yugamo. Same setup as the Fubuki, at least with the amount of 127 millimeter guns. Different torpedo setup. Twin quadruple launchers for eight torpedoes in total. The X Factor, though, the difference, or it has one less torpedoes, but it also has eight more tor or four, eight more torpedoes in total for reload. I just did a test drive; it didn't work. However, maybe it it takes some time. Maybe it requires you to go to a camp. Now on to the IJN Akasuki. Akisuki, Akasuki, help me out comments below guys. This one is much different than the other destroyers that we have. It has a single quad launcher, it does have a, well, it does have enough for a reload. I remember reading that on a dev blog somewhere, but it has the, the, the four twin type 98 hundred millimeter cannons. And these are special. They're extremely fast reloading, extremely f fast turret rotation compared to the other destroyers. Now on to one that really drives me back to my childhood, the Kuma. Now, I don't really like the Kuma too much. It doesn't, it's got a lot of guns, but it's really easy to hit. But what really drives me back into my childhood is the modification of the Kuma, the Kitakami. If that rings a bell Navy Field 1 if any of you guys played Navy Field back in like 2007, 8, 9, 10 
we probably killed each other. You killed me, I killed you. And we definitely dodged torpedo walls from a Akita Kami. Hopefully that's the right ship I'm talking about. But I don't know if we'll ever see that in War Thunder. I kind of hope we don't. If you guys are wondering what it is, it's a Kuma class that it's, it's, it's a variant of the Kuma retrofitted to carry 10 of these. 10 of these. So on each side, there were five and it would lay a wall of torpedoes. It would turn around, lay another wall of torpedoes in a Navy field. We used to call them torpedo walls. They were... They were devastating if you were not a battleship with bulge armor. So that was the Kuma. It's going to be okay. I'm not really too excited about that. Now on to the Kako 5.3. Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is a Furutaka class, but it's not the 5.7 Furutaka. This one has... Wow. This one's... These are the biggest guns we have in game. Right? This is the biggest gun in game right now. A 200 millimeter cannon. This is a heavy cruiser that can shoot HE, oh, HE 93 millimeters of pen. A lot of armor. This is, this is going to penetrate nicely. 7.3 kilograms of explosive mass. But it also has an armored piercing one with 2.84 that has 300. That, this is, this is going to over pen entirely. This would give like a battle cruiser. This this would give a battleship a run for its money if it didn't get shot back. Obviously, uh, five point three Agano Agano. Comments below help me up. Ooh, baby, that's looking real nice. Kind of the late war Japanese cruiser design or mid to late war. It's got. 350 millimeter turrets, two guns in each. And I really hope we're, we're able to launch scout planes soon. Maybe a little like mechanic of, or a little meta of keeping it outside of anti-air range from enemy destroyers, but you know, being able to have the plane spotting or at least just sending him in, pulling him back just so he doesn't get shot, but you're able to spot where the targets are. Beautiful ship. And we have torpedoes on board. Twin launchers, quad launchers, type 93 long lance. I'm pretty sure a lot of these are going to have long lance except the 1971. Reload as well, if I figure out how to use it. And now the Furutaka at 5.7. Gorgeous. This one has six guns as well. Got a biplane as a scout plane. In three turrets. This one has six guns as well. In three turrets. Dual guns. Torpedoes. Yep. Right there. And it looks like these are the where the torpedo storage is. Yeah. Not too much armor blocking that, I would say. I, I don't think it's not it's not even it's not even a thing. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too late to get a proper feeling uh, for the ships. What I do want to show you is the uh, reload rate with the Akizuki here. Sorry about that, guys. But what, once the live server comes up, I'll be able... I'll be, I'm going to be playing these things. Okay. Now, compared to the 127, you can see the turret rotation is much, much better. We'll just go easy on ourselves here. And... Good gosh. And we're loaded. Gotta say, very swervable PT boat. It has to be like a mercy rule, right? Okay, we're gonna back up here. Get some sustained HE shots on this destroyer. And here we go. So I, I can have two shells in the air at 5,000 meters away. Yeah, these are... There's, there's so much explosive mass in these for 100 millimeters. It's just a, the perfect shell for dealing with destroyers. 
Now, maybe not as good as some American ones, but for the Japanese, this is our this this is gonna be the best. Look at look at that. That's just incredible. This is this is gonna be the best destroyer killer with guns. Yeah, and and the accuracy and the dispersion is wonderful. Now we do have these shells here. These are distance fuse, so I think it sets the distance in the scope. We gotta try to match that somehow. Or lead properly. Nope, too close. Huh. They're bursting way before they they should get there. That was a that was a long reload, wasn't it? What the hell happened? Huh. Because maybe it's an auto loader? Oh cool, okay. We're gonna wait a little bit here. We'll fire this light cruiser. Bring our guns down. There's reload rate. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed a little bit of this high tier preview of the Imperial Japanese Navy and a little bit of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. Till next time. Have a great day. Be safe today. See you on Monday. That's tomorrow. Peace out, guys.